All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome to today's print. And today I'm going to show you how to take uh, all of this mess of parts here and put it back together into a usable print like so. So let's get started. <clears throat> so every once in a while when I'm on Thingiverse or Yegi or any one of these different places and I download one of the multicolor uh, prints and I put it in Bamboo Studio here, I get this, which is just a pile of nonsense. Um, so I did um, find a way in the Bamboo Wiki in, uh, to put this stuff back together. And I wish it was just a click of a button. And if anybody knows of a click of a button to fix this stuff, then I'd love to know. But otherwise, you can kind of manually do it. And I'll show you how now. <clears throat> so normally, we um, download this and we import it as a single object with multiple parts. And that's how this is um, downloaded now. We're not going to want to do that in this instance. So let's go ahead and delete this object and grab our STI, STL files. There's a whole mess of them there, and we'll download them all. And this time, instead of uh, load these as a single object with multiple parts, we're going to select No. And that's going to um, load it a little bit differently there. So now what I can do is right-click and click this Assemble button. And what that's going to allow me to do is um, start to click these individual parts. And then I can move the part. <clears throat> I can rotate the part the way that it needs to be. And I can kind of put this thing back together. So you see in a matter of just a few moments... We can take this and get it lined up as we need it. So as you can see, I got the body pretty quick. <clears throat> so now you can do all of the different parts here and you can just kind of select them. And what I did is, especially with these small little eyes and everything and the ears, <clears throat> is leave the move selected and as you select these different things here you can kind of pull these up out of the pile and then you can kind of move them around and you can zoom in on them and do what you need to do from there so i've already done all of this and i did it on this uh, plate right over here if i can get it over there so I got everything back together and then I went in and I changed all the colors and everything like that and got it ready for today's print. So I'll see you in the time lapse. And here's the finished product. He came out really good. And that's how you put something back together and then hit that print button. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I really enjoyed printing this one once again. Thank you.